Hello everybody, hopefully you're all doing great. It's your boy Muhammad here from Zero to Hero in Arabic course. In this part, part 3 of lesson 13, we're gonna be going over present perfect tense in Arabic. In the previous part, part 2, we had some verbs which have three roots, but in this part we're gonna have verbs which have more than three roots, I mean four roots or five roots. And then we're gonna have demonstrative pronouns in Arabic. And at the end of this part, we're gonna be going over some practical and useful expressions in Arabic. Without any further ado, let's get started. In terms of making present perfect tense for verbs which have more than three roots, we're gonna have particular rules and patterns. In previous part, part 2, we had verbs which had three roots, but in this part, we're going to have verbs which have more than three roots. As you see, these verbs are, all of them have more than three roots. For example, trayik, trayik, trayik means eight breakfast, or taadde, taadde means eight lunch, taisha, eight dinner, or dhakhik made a laugh, made someone laugh, ضحك, or ishtara, ishtara means bout, and irtakib means committed. And all of these verbs are past tense, simple past tense, and in order to turn them into the present perfect, we're gonna have some rules. Rule number one is me plus verb itself, me plus verb itself, but the second vowel, I mean second vowel, the vowel next to the last, or second to the last, before the last, not second, okay? Must be maksor, must be maksor, it sounds e, it sounds kasara, e, okay? And the second one, if the last letter is elif, it would turn into ya, it would turn into ya. And the last rule is, if the first letter is elif, it must be deleted, okay? And these are three rules that you have to pursue in making these present perfect tenses. And as you see, the present perfect of trayik, trayik is mutrayik, mutrayik. And as you see, the first rule was we have to add me, me. As you see, we added me, mutray, and the vowel next to the last or second to the last, we said that it must be maksur. And as you see, the vowel of ye is maksur, mutrayik, mutrayik. And these are all for mufrad mudhikkar, singular masculine. You can use it for pronouns I. I have eaten breakfast for you. You have eaten breakfast and he he has eaten breakfast. Okay, this is actually present perfect tense. Matrayik, trayik, simple past tense, and matrayik, present perfect tense. And the next verb is taide, taide, eat lunch. And the present perfect tense of this verb is متعدي 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 The rule was we have to add م م and the vowel next to the last or second to the last must be مكسور مكسور and in the rule number two we said that if the letter if the last letter is إلف a or elif, it must turn into ya. Ta'adda, mutaraddi, mutaraddi, not mutaradda, okay? We have to say mutaraddi because the last letter was elif and it must turn into ya. Ta'ashe, ta'ashe, and it turns into Mata'ashi, mata'ashi. Like a previous one, the last letter, a, 
must turn into ya. Ta'asha mata'ashi. And the next one, vahik. Vahik. And the present perfect tense of this verb is mvahik. Mvahik. And as you see, the vowel next to the last or second to the last is maksur. For example, المضحك الناس علينا المضحك الناس علينا He has made people to laugh us The next one اشترى اشترى And it must be مشتري مشتري As you see The vowel next to the last is مكسور It sound It sound and as you remember, in the rule number three, we said that if the letter, if the first letter is alif, it must be deleted. Okay? We delete, we would delete alif, and we would add me. Mishtari. Mishtari. And you can use this for this pronouns. I have bout. You have bout or he has bout for Mufrad Mudakkar. And the last one is Artikib Artikib and it must turn into Murtikib Artikib Murtikib. And now we can conjugate these verbs for anybody. In previous part, we conjugated verbs. Just for just for Mufrad Mudakkar, mass singular masculine Mufrad Mudakkar, but now we're gonna conjugate them for Mufrad Mu'annif, Jama Mudakkar, and Jama Mu'annif. As you see, the first one is Mutrayik, and for Mufrad Mu'annif, we have to say Mutrayig. For Mufrad Mu'annif, it must be Mutrayig. Mufrid Ma'annis, Mufrid Ma'annis, singular feminine, it's consisting of Hiye, Ani, and Inti. Ani, Hiye, and Inti. I, and you, and she. Okay? But for Jema Mudakkar, Jema Mudakkar, we say Mutrayigin. Again, and it's consisting of this pronouns. Ihna, we, and into, into, you, and, and humme, and humme, day, day. And for gemmainness, for gemmainness, feminine plural, we say matrayigat. And gemmainness is consisting of ihna we but feminine one you you intin but feminine one and hinne they but feminine one and you can also conjugate other verbs same as the first one for example mutaaddi or mutaashi mutaaddi we say mutaaddiya mutaaddin mutaaddiyat متعشي متعشية متعشين متعشيات مضحك مضحكة مضحكين مضحكات مشطري مشطرية مشطرين مشطريات مرتكبة مرتكبين مرتكبات And this is actually the conjugation of present perfect tense in Arabic and other point about present perfect tense that you have to know, which is extremely important and useful. And some verbs that are pattern or form of fa'il, wasn't fa'il, we have been taught that this is the way we can build or make present perfect tense. And these verbs, which are form or pattern of fa'il, not only do they have a past tense role or present perfect tense role, but also have the present tense and future tense role, okay? 
For example, Win Rayah. Win Rayah. Where are you going? Where are you going? We cannot translate it or use it as a present perfect. We cannot say, Where have you been? We have to say, In this context, we have to say, Where are you going? And for female, we say, Win Rayah. Win Rayah. And for plural, we say, Win Rayahin. Win Rayahin. Where are you going? For Jamma Mu'annis, a group of women will say, Win Rayahat. Win Rayahat. Where are you going? Look at this movie about this pattern. And the next sentence, "Ana msafir al-liyale li an ma bidi hayla." Ana msafir al-liyale li an ma bidi hayla. Tonight I'm traveling because li an means because ma bidi hayla. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Ma bidi hayla. Or I don't have any solution. Solution. And as you see, the msafir is pattern of fa'il. And the root of this one is safar. Mm -hmm. And safar becomes musafar to the pattern of fa'il. The last sentence احنا باقين اسبوع احنا احنا باقين اسبوع احنا we stay here one week احنا means we باقين stay we stay اسبوع means week and احنا means here we stay here one week احنا باقين اسبوع احنا and now we have some root of verbs in order to conjugate and you know that in order to conjugate we need to know the root of verbs and we have been taught in previous lessons how we can actually make or conjugate these verbs and as you know the first one is the past tense root and the second one is present tense root for example the first one is rah yiruh. rah is root for past tense and it means went and yiruh means goes. Rah yiruh. Understanding these roots and knowing these roots, it's gonna make it so easier to conjugate these verbs. And the next one is hatu yihatu. Hatu yihatu. Khabar yihabur. Khabar yihabur. Called and calls. Ubar. Yabur Ubar Yabur Anid Yanid acted stubbornly and acts stubbornly. And Anid and Yanid are not adjectives and these are verbs. And as you know, it basically means when you are determined to do something and you refuse to do anything else, and we can say that. You an you you anid okay you act stubbornly. Howl, you howl, tried and tries. Hitche hitche, yehchi, spoke and speaks. Itta itta, yitli, gave and gives. Selim. Yisellim, sellim, yisellim. Said hello and says hello. Said hello and says hello. And there's an another meaning for this verb, and it basically is deliver, delivering. Okay, delivered and delivers. For example, sellim al garav lehilha. Sellim al garav lehilha. He delivered the objects to the owners. And Arab 
basically means objects or things or possessions. And the last one is sijil, yisijil, sijil, yisijil. And it has basically two meanings, record, register. For example, sijil isme, sijil isme. He registered his name, sijil isme. Or if you want to say, register my name, you have to say, Sijil ismi. Sijil ismi. And now in this part, we are going to be going over all the demonstrative pronouns in Arabic. But there is one difference between Arabic demonstrative pronouns and English demonstrative pronouns. And it is the femininity of these pronouns. In English, we don't have any feminine pronouns, but in Arabic, we do. Okay? For example, for singular, for mufrad mudhikkar, for singular masculine, we say had, had or had this, this. But for mufrad mu'annis, singular feminine, we say hey, hey or hey, hey. Or we can also say heavy, heavy. And it basically means this, this, but in feminine form. But for plural, masculine, jamu mudhikkar, we say hedule, hedule, these. And for a plural feminine, jamu mu'annith, we say hedinni, hedinni, these, these. And here is some examples for these pronouns. The first one is this for male. هذا الولد شسمه هذا الولد شسمه This boy, what is his name? هذا الولد شسمه هذا البنطرون مال منو هذا البنطرون مال منو These pants belong to whom? Or whose pant is this? هذا البنطرون مال منو هذا الجوال إليك is this phone yours or this phone's blanks to you? And these are all Mufrad Mudhikkar, singular masculine, but for singular feminine, Mufrad Mu'annif, we have Hey. Hey al bab Muftuha. Hey al bab Muftuha. This door is open. And the next example, Hey the Siyara. رايحة للكاذمية هذه السيارة رايحة للكاذمية This car is going to كاذمية السيارة is feminine because the السيارة is feminine then we have to have feminine pronouns هذي or هاي okay. هذي or هاي Other point in this sentence is رايحة and as you see the رايحة is a pattern of Fa'il, and we said that the fa'il is used for present perfect tense, but we said that not only we have present perfect tense in this pattern, but also we have present tense role. Raiha is pattern of fa'il. This car is going to cat me. As you see, the role here is a present tense, not present perfect tense. And for plural masculine, we say هذوله, these, these. جمو مذكر هذوله جايين من البصرة هذوله جايين من البصرة These came from Basra or these people came from Basra. Or you can also say there are actually two ways to say these هذوله and ذوله you can also say These young people are tired or are or exhausted. And for plural feminine, we say For example, 
هذين الجنوب مومالتنا or you can also say مومالتنا the both ways are correct هذين الجنوب مومالتنا these luggage are not ours هذين ال these luggage are not ours or هذين مفاتيح بيتنا هذين مفاتيح بيتنا these are our house keys and the last one ذني بناتي ذني بناتي these are my daughters ذني بناتي but now we're gonna have demonstrative pronouns for far for مفرد مذكر for singular masculine we say هذاك هذاك or you can also say ذاك ذاك or هذاك means that and for feminine we say هذيك Hevich or vich. Vich or hevich means that. And for plural masculine, German vikar, we say hevulek. Hevulek. Or you can also say hevulek. Hevulek. It means those. Those. And for feminine, hevinich. Hevinich or vinich. Vinich means those. And now let's go over these pronouns with examples. هذاك الرجال عرف. هذاك الرجال عرف. That man is familiar. That man is familiar. هذاك الرجال عرف. And it basically means that this man, which I know him, okay? هذاك الرجال عرف. That man is familiar. The next one. ذاك الولد أخوي ذاك الولد أخوي that boy is my brother ذاك الولد أخوي but for مفرد معنف we have هذيج هذيج أو رذيج هذيج البناية كلش شبارة هذيج البناية كلش شبارة that building is so big that building is so big ذيج نظارتي ذيج نظارتي ذيج نظارتي that's my eyeglasses that's my eyeglasses نظارة basically means eyeglasses but when it's attached with another nouns or pronouns we have to pronounce it like نظارتي when it's detached we have to say نظارة نظارة without تع التأنيث هذيج خالتي هذيج خالتي that is my aunt هذيج خالتي and some examples for plural one those هذولاك دي ركضون هذولاك دي ركضون they are running as we said before the the letter of the is basically for making present continuous tenses in Arabic the Okay, with adding د, you can make verbs present continuous. ذولاك استقائي ذولاك استقائي They are my friends. They are my friends. And for جمعون معنس, plural feminine, we have ذنيج ذنيج وين راحن ذنيج وين راحن When did those go? Or when did they go? When did those go? And those refers to day. Okay, we can translate it as a day, not those. Hivinich sadiqati. Hivinich sadiqati. They are my friends, or those are my friends. Hivinich benet akhuye. Hivinich benet akhuye. Those are daughters of my brother. Those are daughters of my brother. Or they are daughters of my brother. Vinic benet echuye. And the last point about this pronouns, which is extremely important, as you see, hada and he, you can sometimes synthesize them or amalgamate them with other nouns or words. For example, and instead of saying hadal walid, you can say hal walid, hal walid. Or instead of saying 
هذا البيت you can say هالبيت or instead of saying هاي السيارة هاي السيارة because السيارة is feminine then we have to use feminine pronouns and instead of saying هاي السيارة we can say هالسيارة or هالمكتبة okay And for making negative sentences with these demonstrator pronouns, all we have to do is adding mu, mu before these nouns or pronouns. For example, mu hilbiet, mu hilbiet, not this house, or mu hilek hilbiet, not that house, or in this form, hilek mu biet, it is not that house, hilek mu biet. Or هذولة هذولة مو طلاب هذولة مو طلاب These are not students These are not students And the last part is gonna be about expressions The most frequent expressions in Arabic Which are really useful and practical The first expression is ميصير ميصير And it basically means don't be calm Or it doesn't be calm Or don't get Or it's not possible. For example, مصير تسافر بدون جواز. مصير تسافر بدون جواز. Don't be calm or it's not possible. You travel without passport. Okay. Or the next one, مصير أعوفك لوحدك. مصير أعوفك لوحدك. It's not possible. I leave you alone. And auf basically means I leave, leaving something in somewhere. And the other one, مصير لازم تجويانا. مصير لازم تجويانا. It's not possible, or don't. It doesn't become. You must come with us. لازم تجويانا. لازم means have to or must. Teji means you come, and weyana means with us. Weyana with us. And the second expression is me khalif, me khalif, and it actually means no problem, no problem, me khalif. For example, mumkin ejoyek, mumkin ejoyek. Is it possible I come with you? Eji means I come. In weyek means with you. Mumkin eji weyek. Is it possible I come with you? Khush me khalif. Khush me khalif. Khush means good or okay or all right. In me khalif means no problem. Or another example. A'tidhar ukhti akhidhat min waqtich. A'tidhar ukhti akhidhat min waqtich. I apologize. My sister... I took your time. أعتذر means I apologize. أختي means my sister. أخذت means I took. من وقتك means from your time. من وقتك. لا عفوا ما خالف. لا means no. And عفوا means you're welcome. ما خالف means no problem. And the last expression is هسه. هسة means now. هسة. For example, هسة لازم أروح للبيت. هسة لازم أروح للبيت. Now I have to go home. I have to go home. هسة توصل الطيارة. هسة توصل الطيارة. Now airplane arrives. هسة أريد فلوسي. هسة أريد فلوسي. Now I want my money. فلوس means money and فلوسي means my money. من حس اللي باتشر عندك مهلة. من حس اللي باتشر from now till tomorrow من means from حس means now and اللي باتشر means till tomorrow عندك مهلة. عندك means you have and مهلة means time frame or time limit. Okay. All right, guys. As usual, we're gonna have some assignments. Don't underestimate these assignments because in order to master today's contents, 
you need to exercise, you need to do these assignments, you need someone to speak with, or if you don't have any, please speak with yourself because it's going to be very useful. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.